Hey, good afternoon there, my Facebook and YouTube friends. It's your buddy Hoppy. And once again, you guessed it, it's time for another episode of It's All Bullshit. Well, went out and about today, ran some errands, went to the gym. I was talking to a few people that happened to be uh, locals like myself here. And um, nobody seems really impressed about this whole new town, village, center, whatever the fuck they're putting over at the old GM site over there. Which... Kind of made me want to do a little bit of investigating. So I kind of cruised around and I went to some of the strip malls that we had and some that were there, not there anymore. Uh, whether they either got knocked down or they were burnt down or caught fire and burnt down. And it's interesting to me on how some of them don't have businesses in them. Some of them aren't even there anymore. Christ, we got a gas station that hasn't pumped gas since the eighth grade fucking picnic. Supposedly, I heard that property is in some kind of uh, legal disarray or something, but I didn't really didn't get involved with it. But um, I'm a bit concerned about this new thing they got going on here with this town center on the old GM site. First and foremost, I'm going to just put it to you this way. You think you're going to see a transit village? Mm-hmm. You better go get your HO train set out and make one. That's about as close, I think, as you're going to see to that shit because I'm going to tell you something. First of all... Nobody's got a fucking dime to build that railroad up, lay track, and I'm going to tell you right now, if anybody would know, it would be me, because I deal with this shit. I'm going to tell you. First of all, and we talked about this before, but I'm just kind of revisiting this because I was talking with somebody today about this, and I felt that it was necessary for me to do this, so I'm doing it. So just sit down and enjoy. Freight trains and passenger trains cannot run on the same track at the same time because of a little-known feature they have out there now called PTC, which is positive train control. One system is for passenger, one system is for freight. And they cannot work at the same time with two freight and passenger on the same track. It's impossible. Plus, the Federal Railroad Administration says that's a no-no. So we cannot do that. But anyway, on with this whole transit village town center you know they want to put shopping in there they want to and this is just what we really need not not to mention that they fucked up the road up there where it used to be two lane it should be a four lane road two and two now we went down to one with all these fucking fancy left turns people don't know how to fucking drive anymore because they're all fucking screwed up they come down here past the diner two lanes two lanes and all of a sudden into one and nobody knows how to fucking alter the traffic God forbid if you should be nice enough to let somebody pass or look over and do this with your hand. No, we want a fucking drag race right to the fucking, to the, to the single lane. You know what? I make my own fucking lane right down where the lane used to be. Fuck them. Who gives a shit? I'm not going to dick around with these fucking people. But anyway, not getting off the subject. Um, I got a lot of strip malls here. And some of them don't have businesses. For an example, the Ewing Farm was a great place. Made good hoagies, steak sandwiches. They had a nice little buffet thing there. Problem was, was those people got in way over their heads. I think they spent more than more than they, what they were making. They're out. There's a big chunk of property over there. Nothing's fucking in it. I want to know is what is the township zoning people doing about this? We're all worried about the GM site. You know what? Fuck that site. And I'll tell you something else, too. Had anybody put some real fucking thought into it, we could have done three things. Are you ready? If we all were, if we all had a green thumb, why not sell the property to public service, put up solar, put up a solar field there, solar panels. Let's get some air energy from the sun. Let's think clean here. Just saying. Number two, could have had like Amazon or somebody big like that come in. Could have created jobs. We could have had another industry there like we had before. Okay? You with me? And also, too, they had no problems making left and rights coming out of there. Could have kept it a four-lane fucking road. This two-lane shit with these fucking turns and turns and shit and all this left up. It's fucked up. Three. And see, nobody thought of this one, I'll bet. We got an airport. It's got two major airlines that fly out. Soon to have two more, which will be four. Because there's a lot of good things going on over there. At least that part of the township's got their shit together. But that property over there, 
either FedEx, DHL, UPS. Now, all three of them companies fly planes. Why? They deliver packages. They deliver parcels. Could have been a depot for one of those companies to come in. Had somebody had fucking did their homework and thought a little bit. No, we're, we're concerned about putting fucking housing up in some bullshit fucking stores that which I guarantee you within a year or two time, they're going to be empty. And then what are you going to have? A, like what, three fucking stores where you would have 15 or 10 or 15? I don't even know how many they're going to put over there. Come on, are you fucking kidding me? You know, it's just as dicked off as this fucking transit village. And speaking of transit, you know our transit agency in this state, they don't even have bus service that goes up to the airport. That's the only fucking thing I never understood why. Can't understand it. So if you, John Q. Public, want to go fly out of Trenton Mercer, no problem. Parking is this, $2 an hour, $8 a day, or you get dropped off. If you think you're going to take a bus up there, you're only going to get as far as Bear Tavern. And then maybe, just maybe, if the bus driver will drop you off, which I don't think they will because there's not a bus stop down there, you're huffing it up that hill. So, uh, hope we don't have a lot of luggage. Anyway, folks, it's where we're at with it. If you want my honest opinion, attend town meetings. I think I'm going to start getting involved with this shit because the more I look around, and I've been a Ewing resident for a long time, we got to do something because this is just ridiculous. You know, some strip malls are doing good. Others, not so good. And like I said, some burnt down and never been rebuilt. So what are you going to do? But, hey, like I said, I was talking with somebody today. I wanted to come and do this just to kind of reiterate a little bit, just revisit some of the things that we talked about in the past. Leave me your thoughts and your comments on this one, especially for the people that live in the lovely town of Ewing. This is a big thing. Uh, tell me what you think. I don't think it's a good idea. My three things I suggested I thought would have been perfect. But, hey, who am I? If you think I should do the job, then pencil me in for mayor or account, whatever. Be more than happy to oblige. That's all I got, folks. Saturday, take care of yourselves and each other. Be safe. Enjoy. Be thankful you got a pulse. And as always... A good act of kindness goes a long way. We'll talk to you soon. Take care.